The pumpkins are here and the weather has cooled down. That means one thing, it's fall, y'all. Hey guys, I'm Jarrett and welcome to the Shades of Green Show. In the spirit of the fall season, we're here today to talk to you about our five favorite fall annual plants. And we're gonna start things off with a really unique one and one of my personal favorites, Celosia. Now Celosia, also uh, the original is called Coxcomb because it looks like the crown of a rooster, um, but it, recently it's got a lot of cool different introductions. One's called Dragon's Breath, where it looks more of like a flame. Uh, you have ones that are really wavy and crinkly that almost look like brains, but they usually started out in magenta and they've hybridized them down into several different colors, some oranges, some yellows, and even some nice crimson. Now this Celosia, if we're talking about an annual pot, is gonna be that thriller. It's gonna get pretty tall and just be a nice striking piece in it. And it also dries very well. It has a feeling, a texture, almost like tissue paper. So it's something that you can get more, more than just the, se the seasonal pot. One thing about it, it also reseeds very well. So once you, the spent blooms, cut them off, put them in a brown bag, and you can reseed for next year. This is Celosia. Let's go check out some more of our favorite annuals for fall. Next up on our tour de fall, we're gonna make a stop in tropical country with a croton. Now this guy is not native here and it won't survive the winter here, but when it has colors like this, you gotta use it in a fall pot. This is called croton. Uh, it's commonly a tropical that can be a house plant inside or in Florida, it grows up to six feet tall like a shrub. But here, we just pair it with some nice fall color because it has the oranges and the reds and the variegated leaves with the greens. And it's a really beautiful plant. So this is gonna be something that if planted in the ground, during a short fall season, it may get two to three feet, but again, it will die in the winter. But for the brave, you can put it in a pot, bring it inside your house in a really nice bright spot in your window, and it can survive year round. Next up, we have probably the granddaddy of fall plants, the mum or chrysanthemum if you're fancy. Probably the granddaddy of fall plants because they come in the perfect fall colors. Check out this one, it's a bicolor, rose to gold. We have oranges, bronzes, purples and whites, and you can just see they are absolutely covered in blooms. They slowly start to open, and in full sun, they'll be fully open by October, just in time for the trick-or-treaters. Mums make an instant pop on your porch when you use them, and they're a must-have for all of the fall plantings. And now it's time for the last stop on our fall fun tour with two different plants, but very similar plants, pansies and violas. Now these guys are the classic fall bedding plant because they not only last through fall, when the weather comes and it gets really cold, they're gonna perform brilliant throughout winter and early spring. The thing that's gonna take these out is gonna be the heat. So plant them now and they'll be just fine up until the heat comes early spring. What we love about them is there's almost infinite varieties of colors and pansies. Every color of the spectrum, some with blotched faces, some without. Now the main difference between pansies and violas is pansies are gonna have a much larger bloom, just less blooms. With violas, it's probably gonna have almost the exact same bloom, just a little bit tinier and a lot more of them. So it's kind of what you want in your garden. I like to mix both. And the good news is they both need the exact same requirements. Lots of sun to get lots of blooms. And when you prep the soil, you have to use blood meal. Blood meal is gonna be a great uh, fertilizer for these plants because they are heavy feeders. And don't tell, you, don't tell people you heard this from me, but ra pansies tend to be rabbit candy, okay? The blood meal will help deter, deter rabbits. So blood meal is gonna be great fertilizer, keep the rabbits away, and a beautiful plant all through winter. Well, folks, there you have it, our five favorite fall plants. You can put them all together in a pot on your front porch or throw them in the beds in your yard. Either way, it's gonna be a beautiful fall color in your garden. Thanks for watching the Shades of Green Show. We'll see you next time.